this module is about introduction to GIS and it has four learning objectives including the definition of geographic information system, the differentiation between data and information, information, um, uh, importance of GIS and research uh, in research and applications, and the components and uh, organization of GIS. So first of all, let's look at the word GIS itself. Uh, it stands for Geographic Information System. Geographic is anything that deals with mapping of Earth. So in Geographic Information System, we are dealing with uh, maps um, and spatial data about the surface of the Earth and atmosphere and, of course, below the Earth's surface as well. The information is data with context. Data is for computers, whereas information is uh, data transformed into uh, something that, be that can be consumed by humans. So the data itself has some context with it. Now, system is a set of connected things. It includes, in case of GIS, the data, software, hardware, uh, methods, and people. They all constitute uh, the GIS. So now let's look at the definition of GIS. The, a GIS is a computer-based system to aid in the collection, maintenance, storage, analysis, output, and distribution of spatial data and information. So there are a lot of keywords in this definition, and uh, we will go through all of these keywords one by one. So first of all, let's look at the spatial data and information. Uh, any data and information that has location associated with it becomes spatial data um, and information. For example, if lo we look at this table of names of counties, states, and, loca uh, and cities, once we add a latitude and longitude with it, it becomes spatial data. Likewise, if we were looking at um, uh, an XY grid with x-axis and y-axis, any position on that grid would constitute spatial data. Any coordinates x and y would constitute spatial data. And so uh, the spatial data with context becomes spatial information. And as I said earlier, data is what's consumed by computers, and information is data with context for the consumption of humans. Computer-based system is any system that has computers and microcontrollers and microcomputers associated with it. And in GIS, the key idea is that it is basically an information system um, and it's based on uh, a computer and network of computers. We do not involve the conventional methods of uh, uh, spatial analysis or mapping or geography. It's all based upon a computer system. Now, it involves collection of GIS, uh, of, uh, of data, which, and there are many sources of GIS data, including um, the digital, data uh, digital databases, which includes data in computers, and also data that is brought into computers by digitizing uh, the old uh, maps. Uh, it includes field instruments, uh, for example, GPS devices and laptops, field laptops. Um, it includes the data about the data, which is called metadata. Uh, it can come from paper maps, uh, digital cameras, uh, ortho photos, which are coming from uh, remote sensing. Um, and all of these sources are the collection of data needed in GIS. The other keyword is maintenance and storage. Now, when data is in a computer, it has to be properly maintained, which include um, correcting for any errors, um, any procedures that need to be done to the data, data auditing, keeping track of changes in the data um, that may happen over time. And all of this is done by what we call database management uh, system. Um, the database management system is uh, a computer program that helps users interact with the, with the, with the data. The next keyword is analysis. And analysis is where we ask questions from the data. In this case, we do spatial analysis. So most of our questions are where type questions. Where is uh, a certain uh, piece of property? Where is the best location to build something? And answers like those can be asked uh, from spatial data. The next keyword 
uh, or keywords are output and distribution. And this is where we take the analysis output and we disseminate it. It can be printed, it can be displayed on the screen or uh, a mobile device, it can be converted into a 3D model. Um, and nowadays we have WebGIS where this all of this stuff is happening real time and information is disseminated onto even individual um, uh, mobile devices such as um, Google Maps um, and um, and MapQuest and those kind of navigational software.